The six widely used dietary supplements promoted for improving heart health, including brands of 1. Fish oil, 2. Garlic, 3. Cinnamon, 4. Turmeric, 5. Red yeast rice, and 6. Plant sterile supplements. In the study, the effectiveness of a low-dose statin which is a common drug that lower blood cholesterol was compared to that of six common dietary supplements in lowering low-density lipoprotein LDL cholesterol, known as bad cholesterol. It also examined their effects on other cholesterol levels and markers of inflammation. Note that this study does not oppose the use of diet to control cholesterol. Diet is a very important factor in management of blood cholesterol profile. The limitations of this study is also explained towards the end of this video together with relevant references. All these six supplements according to the research were not effective at lowering bad cholesterol. Secondly, the supplements are not better in terms of reducing the bad cholesterol in the blood within the 28 days of the research. Please note that we are not promoting any specific drug. This video is for knowledge and information sharing. The common low-dose cholesterol-lowering medication, the statin had a substantial impact on bad cholesterol during the 28-day study period. In addition, the dietary supplements did not reduce inflammatory markers, which suggests that the six supplements are unlikely going to reduce the risk of heart disease at least during the first month of use. A more detailed statistics will be added in the description below. In other words, these six widely used dietary supplements promoted for improving heart health were not effective at lowering bad cholesterol in comparison to those that are not using any of the supplements. These findings were also presented at the American Heart Association scientific sessions. Some people also believe supplements are as effective or more effective than cholesterol-lowering medications. This has not been scientifically proven at least for the supplements tested in this research. There are supplements that are very useful and we will be analyzing other scientific standard research on them in our subsequent videos. Kindly subscribe to get our next update on supplements. None of the study interventions notably impacted inflammatory markers in the blood that suggest a higher risk for heart disease during the 28 days of the study. Although there are prior studies demonstrating that red yeast rice and plant sterile supplements may reduce LDL cholesterol, the findings of this study underscore that the contents of these dietary supplements may vary. Therefore, they do not produce consistent reductions in cholesterol. This study sends an important public health message that dietary supplements commonly taken for cholesterol health or heart health are unlikely to offer meaningful impact on cholesterol levels within 28 days. The American Heart Association in its cholesterol guidelines emphasize that people should not rely on supplements and recommends that healthy people get adequate nutrients by eating a variety of foods in moderation. Moreover, the association recommends physical activity is the optimal first treatment choice for adults with mild to moderately elevated blood pressure and blood cholesterol who otherwise have low heart disease risk. A limitation of the study is that its duration was only 28 days, which was long enough to demonstrate a reduction in LDL cholesterol with the statin medication. However, it is unknown if some of the supplements may require a longer time to have any effect on cholesterol. Please subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified when we release the next video. Note that, knowledge is advancing by the day and we will like to always post an update on new advances on how to stay healthy. You can contact us via the link in the description below for any medical inquiry. You are watching Zoom Hospital channel and listening to work of Dr. Cariordi.